what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here and welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be talking about how to use transformations inside of Power BI and how to extract information with inside of a column let's go ahead and get started here we are inside the Power Query editor and we have a list of logged time so you can see here that this has a kind of different format than we would typically see and so it has the date and the time associated to it but one of the key pieces here is that we're dealing with this at this text with inside of our time and so as we think about how we want to split this up we want to make sure that we maintain the proper information and so we're going to look at some ways to extract the information into two separate columns so that we can use this date inside of a power bi report one thing that you need to understand about the way that the power query editor works is when you change the data type and you can see the data type up here when i brought this in is ABC123. This is a generic data type, meaning that the Power Query editor can't recognize whether it's a text or a numeric field. And so we want to do our best to make sure that our data types are correct. So with the date, we wanted a date data type, and with this time, we want that to be a time data type. And so as we look at how to transform this, so we're going to look at four ways to transform this. The first one is going to be we're going to extract the characters from the right. And so to do this, we're going to look at this log type column and we're going to extract the characters starting from the right hand side. So it's going to start over here on the right hand side of the time and extract characters back. So remember that we have to take into account the spaces that are within inside of here because this is technically a text field as of right now and so this is going to have the spaces included in that extract and so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our transform tab so we're going to go to our transform tab here at the top and we're going to be looking under this extract section so we can look under extract to determine how we want to extract the information. And so if we go to the drop down arrow, you're going to see several different options available. So we can do a specific link. We can go from the first characters or the last characters or a delimiter as well. So we're going to start because we're starting from the right. We're going to start with the last characters here. And so uh, as I choose the last characters, it's going to ask me how many do I want to extract. And so I'm going to choose 11 for this example. So as I extract 11 characters, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. From the right, notice that the log time here is now extracted from that log time column it has now changed the data type to a text that's the ABC that's the data type here but it doesn't give us the correct date and the time and so as we extract characters from the right we have to make sure that we extract the proper amount so if we wanted to just extract the time we would need to do four in order to just pull out that 930 but that's just the time we need to have the date included as well so let's look at extract from the left so here we are same information here this time we're going to extract from the left hand side so I'm going to go up here to extract and we're going to start with the first characters so that's what we're going to choose here the first characters from our extract and once again I'm going to choose 11 so if I choose 11 and I click OK, what you're going to notice is that it does extract the correct date. It puts it as a text field though. So this is because it is included that space after the date. And so this has recognized it as a text field. So while we have extracted the date, it does not recognize it as a date specifically we would have to change the data type and then it would convert it 
We also recognize that it has now lost the time associated to it as well that might be helpful for analysis purposes. If we go to just change the data type here, so once again, recognizing that this is a generic data type, ABC123, if we go to just change this data type, you're going to notice that it's going to give us an error. So if I just select date here, this is going to give us an error because of the text, the at is not identified as a date or a date time combo. It's a unique field that causes problems. So the best way to handle this is to split this by a delimiter. Once again, noticing that this is a generic data type here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually split this column by the delimiter. The delimiter in this case is going to be this word at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the log time and we're gonna go down here to split column. So notice we have the ability to split this column by several different ways. In our case, we're gonna split it by the delimiter. The delimiter is anything that is going to separate those values. And so that's what we're gonna choose here is the delimiter. So I'm gonna right click, split column by delimiter. Now it is recognized the first delimiter as a forward slash here. And that is not what we wanna use. We want to use the at text. So I'm gonna change this to at. And I'm also gonna to choose to split this at the leftmost delimiter. Now, because the word at only occurs one time, we could do this from the left, the right, or each occurrence. It just depends on what your data looks like. So we're gonna choose the leftmost delimiter and we're gonna go ahead and click okay. When we do this, what you're gonna notice is it splits it into two columns. Notice the data types have changed. This is identified as a date and this is identified as a time. So as we split this data up using the delimiter, the at delimiter, it's going to separate our data correctly into a date and a time that we can then use for analysis purposes. So let's take a look at our test prep question. It says that we have a CSV file that contains user complaints. The file contains a column name logged. Log contains the date and the time each complaint occurred. The data is logged in the following format. 2018 is the year, 12 is the month, 31 is the day, at 8.59, which is in this case, the time. It says we need to be able to analyze the complaints by the log date and use the built-in date hierarchy. What should you do? As always, we have to identify key pieces of information with inside this question. The first one is the format in which the date and the time is put in. And once again, noticing that this word at is a part of the format. So that's why we went through the demonstration at the beginning so that you have an understanding of what is going to happen. So let's look at our answer choices here. So it says apply the transformation to extract the last 11 characters. Well, we saw that if we count back 11, so there's five for the time, one for the space, two for the at, and another space, that's another character. So at this point, we are going to extract from the day all the way to the time. And so as we saw in the demonstration, this is not going to work for what we need. Not only that, but if we extract the last 11 characters, that includes the time. We're not interested necessarily in the time, more specifically the logged date. So the log date is the important piece. So we are not going to be able to use option A because it's extracting the time and it's not going to give us the full date field. We also saw that if we try to change this format into a date specifically, that it gave us an error because of the text value at. So option B, to change the data type to a date, is not going to work because of that text, the at text. As we look at option C, split the log column by using at as the delimiter. And so we saw if we do that, it actually splits it into a date and a time 
and converts it to the proper data type. So that is definitely an option that we can consider. The last option here says apply the transformation to extract the first 11 characters of the log column. So as we count here, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it would include the date for option D, but what we saw is that if we were to extract the first eleven characters of that column, it would leave it as a text. And that is because of the space after the day between the word at. And so this would not give us the proper data type, which is a date that can be used in the date hierarchy. Remember, the key here is that it has to use the built-in date hierarchy, which means that the column must be a date data type. And so the correct answer for this question is going to be C, split the log column using the at delimiter. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.